What's up, YouTube? Show you what I got going on here right quick. Um, it's getting ready to rain, and I'm about to go in the house. But um, this is... Uh, shoot, sound like it's starting right now. But this is um, my gauge panel or whatever. Uh, I just sanded it down with some 180 and um, shot it with some of this VHT roll bar chassis paint. Uh, I got a, a picture with the gauges sitting in there. And I got a picture with, with the template, which the template is back here. I know a couple of you guys that follow me as building Novas. Uh, so, um, what I, what these gauges are, there's a guy on YouTube. He's got, I think it's called uh, Atomic Garage or something like that. But if you look up DR Nova, you'll find him. And uh, yeah, he's a real knowledgeable guy. Um, I follow him on Facebook. Well, we add each other's friends on Facebook. Facebook, we in the same, um, a few of the same uh, Nova forums and everything on Facebook. And so, um, I asked him about these gauges. He had a live, a live feed or whatever, and I was talking, asking him questions about these gauges, and um, he recommends the gauges. He said the gauges are good, and I uh, looked up the reviews on the gauges, and there was a bunch of good reviews and everything as well, and. Um, they're called the uh, C2 gauges. Now, for the GMs, you use the 90 ohm. So I got those. And uh, I, sh I think I showed you guys what they look like or whatever. But yeah, um, that turned out pretty nice. I like that. Uh, got this. Uh, started on this wiring harness. <laughs> I know it looked crazy right now, but I started working on this wire harness, and um, I was really intimidated at first about it, but now I'm not. Um, I'm slowly figuring this stuff out and how everything goes and such and such and such, and it's turning out pretty nice. Um, it's turned out to be a um, pretty nice bill. Um, I really don't know much about these ls base motors i'm a small block 400 guy and that's what i like that's what i like to build that's what i like to run and uh, i like 327s too so um but yeah this is my first time fooling with one of these ls base motors but you know it's 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 not as hard as i thought it would be and you know to tell you a story about how much i know about these motors uh this right here is your crank sensor and I had it. I'm thinking it's a camshaft sensor. And thinking it goes up here on top of the motor in that hole. But um, no, I guess I was wrong. It's not a camshaft sensor. Uh, don't go right there. Uh, I had to hit up my boy, Mr. Get in there to get the right information and where it go, how it go, all this stuff. So he lined me out. He got a YouTube channel. Um, he got way more followers than me. But if you guys are following me and ain't following him, y'all go check him out. Uh, Mr. Get in there all together. Um, so, yeah. He's a G-body guy. Good guy. But, uh, uh, what I got going on? Yeah, um, just the wires on the inside. Ugh. I'm going to put the computer right there on the flat firewall right there. And I put the... Um, the grommet right there it's not seam sealed in or nothing like that it's just sitting up there for right now until i get all the wires and stuff going where i want to um put them see if i have to move them or anything like that roll them up or something like that so uh yeah got all that going uh one more thing let me turn this light off well i'll probably need it down here Ugh. i got the uh tranny mount put in bolted up so it's all good to go. Still working on cleaning all this up. And it's not, uh, probably put y'all upside down. It's not too bad, but it's getting there. And, you know, I got these bolts right here for the seats. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna eventually just weld them to the floor. But I'm waiting on that right now. Uh, but yeah, that's how I'm mounting my seats. Uh, let me get up here right quick. I'll show you guys the. Okay, YouTube, I pressed the wrong button.
but I'm back. Show you guys this part right here, then I'm going to house before it start raining. Ugh. So yeah, this is how it look. It look a little crazy, but it works. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning up on it, but really not too much because the gauge panel it sits along here, and so I really it's all this is gonna be hidden anyway. But um. I did scratch it up right here, so I gotta paint that. And then I'm gonna, um, oh shoot, I'm going to, uh, I hit it right there with the grinder, trying to cut this off. So I gotta fix all that. I just uh, put a little, um, a skim coat of lightweight filler and knock it all out, you know, clean it all up, make it look nice. But I had to cut these out because the gauges wouldn't fit in there. And so, you know, once it goes up into the the dash or whatever, you won't be able to see it anyway, so it'll be all good. And yeah, man, that's about it. That's my update. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Probably work on trying to get the underside of that car done. Um, let's scoot over here, being lazy. Yeah. I think I'm just going to work on trying to get the underside of that car done and get it painted. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, but, you know, it's just undercoating. I don't, I don't really think it's going to freaking matter about uh, the humidity and all that crap. But who knows? It may, it may not, but I'm going to, that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Um, if it's, if it's raining, that's what I'm going to be doing. That's what I'm going to be out here doing. Um, yeah, that'd be about it. Um, Got to order some stuff tomorrow uh, for the motor because I really want to hear it run. Got to order a few things. Um, and while that's, while that's coming in, and if I get that done tomorrow, I'm going to start prepping um, the bumper filler, the front bumper filler. And um, I got these little pieces that go in the window. Uh, let me show you guys this right quick. Start prepping those, and then I'm gonna prep the inside of that fender so they can all get um, painted. But the bumper filler in this, these right here, got to get primed first. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna prime, I'm gonna prep all this for to get painted and primed, um, as well as my fender for my Dodge. I need to go on and get that done too. So I'm gonna prime all that one day next week and then um paint the next day so yeah we're gonna see how that goes but i still haven't got the inside of here cleaned up in the shop i think these couches are gonna go in the house and yeah, me and the fellas just gonna have to sit on some uh on some chairs out here but that's fine i still got all this stuff over here to put up a lot of that stuff is for the mini bike build, which all I'm all I'm waiting on to start that is uh, I gotta do extend the frame and I gotta clamp it down and stuff and it's just make it right and uh, I need a hand with that. My buddy's gonna help me with that. So yeah, and hopefully tomorrow I can get that um, windshield put in. My clips came in. Let me show you guys those. Uh, I'm supposed to be leaving, but. I just keep rambling, keep thinking of other stuff to talk about. The clips came in. These are little uh, rear window molding clips. These things is like $11, $11 and shipping was like 12 from ground up. That's the only place they had them. But yeah, um, that's what I got going on. That's my update. You guys take it easy. You guys will probably see me in the next couple days, maybe tomorrow. Who knows, depending on what I got going on, what I get knocked out. So, you guys take it easy. Peace.